that some other Ionic players are used to. So you, they'll yeah. get hit with things that they don't expect. And if Stat knows that, maybe he'll make that decision instead. So we see Hayati and Kasumi. That's even weirder. Because hmm. <laughs> Shade is Shade has been following the Kasumi player of all time. Unless I'm totally wrong, maybe like Stat picked Hayate and I'm like completely confused right now, but I don't think that's happened. Yeah. I'm pretty we'll sure I'm pretty the, sure Stat picked UI comes Kasumi. Up. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Hold on. We'll just see who moves where. Yeah, that okay, looks yeah. like that looks like Shade. Yeah. On the Yeah, that looks like Shade on yeah, Hayate, that's good. Yeah. Nice hold. Jeez. You see that nice free cancel from um, Shade, who wasn't expecting that. That's very unsafe. You can actually even throw that. I'm told you can even throw. When she does that first 1P down, you can just low throw her when it connects. I'm surprised that Shade didn't throw that. You can very much throw that and get yeah. pays for it in blood because Stat decides to take him out. Half pressure. Right away, Shade throw punching properly. Of course, of course, knowing the data is own character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it there. I'm kind of surprised. He's not been consistent with that in the way I want him to be. Oh, drops the angle. Because it's very dangerous hitting Bunny at someone who may just throw out a hold. Just, you know. And if it's the right one, you're in trouble. Stat, however, throw punching the um, sidestep. Which is one of the smart things to do because that sidestep is very dangerous if you don't make it. Oh, wow. Does 1P in response oh. to the oncoming. Yeah. Dash. Huh. Oh, he interrupted that charge. Yeah. Right away, just kind of back and forth. Like, a lot of poke press right now. And Shade Raji getting beat out in it. Again, I'm trying. Stat ha um, is holding out of that um, Very good. frame advantage, but not quite making the right hold. Interesting decision. Ah! Reads a low, low hold. Stat up two rounds. He's doing a good job kind of maintaining a lot of, um, just making sure Shade can't get away when he wants to, I feel, and making sure that he can just kind of continue going as far ahead as he possibly can. See, like, right away, he gets knocked away, he's just running right back in. N nothing yeah. stopping him. Oh, she does get out of range to uncall that. Very yeah. strange stuff. I don't, I, I haven't actually seen that before. Yeah. And that's and takes it. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a character change. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Yeah. Right away though, stat going up again. Yep. Shades of Kai. All right. And he is going to say, "You are not taking my character." Yeah. <laughs> I am I going knew to it. Make I knew that. that. <laughs> so we're going to see a mirror. Shade not having it. All right. So this will be interesting because the other thing about those that's scary is, of course, that you're so overreading what you think your opponent's going to do. You never know, Sonic. Yeah. Oh, Shade had been, like, it seemed like a last second. You yeah, see, he's, he's going to want to go for those Oboros. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was a last second. Right right away, though, Scott running back in and maintaining pressure. Yeah. And oh. <laughs> reads the, gets Down up and throws. Down. Dangerous read, but that worked out amazingly. And right away, poke him out. Takes Jumping on good measure. Just saying, no, I'm not getting thrown this time. Good crash. I think it's forcing Shade to play in a style that he may not want to play in, if that makes sense, because you don't want to you don't want to mash out your disadvantage with um, buttons all the time. You're just not comfortable with that. But if someone wants to throw you every time you're in stun, that's what you gotta do. Right. It's just the, yeah, the way the way it works, you just, really you just have to read it with a strike. And why are they stacking up two mat two no. every way? Shade not making the adjustment necessary to get past stats. Um, uh, Sammy. Stats. This is doing not. Very like, well. I will admit this is not. Yeah, I gotta say from someone who is the classic Kasumi player of all time, this is not what I would be expecting at this. I put my bias on the table there. Well, that. Yeah. He's got to get this round. Oh, she drops the juggle. What is going? <laughs> Yeah, man, like, getting pressured out. He's got to, he's do or die here. He's got to make the full adjustment right now. And that's going to be it. That's going to be it. All right, survives by 
fingernail. Yeah, <laughs> like, and this really is it. One, yeah. He's one round away. Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed that this is as tight as it is. You know, I'm fascinated too. Um, yeah. Stat making, doing a lot of very interesting things to maintain pressure. Now, a lot of players are just not expecting this tournament, and it's paying off in dividends. He's making such good reads on progression. Yeah. Shade, however, is going right back in. All right, we're up two. Yeah. We're up two now. Last round. He's got to do this. If you want to stay in the tournament. Good hold. Unsafe. Does neutral. Shade actually breaks the neutral for grab. Still initiating offense that one. It's not quite a juggle, but no. Good pressure damage. Just kind of go. Like, he's hitting. He, he's using the elbow now. Because yeah. um, Stat is trying to go in and hit the button before, and Shade is just elbowing him before he can even try. Yeah. He's like, nope, I'm not having this. I'm going to. And yeah. Stat staying I think on character. Shade wanted to get more aggressive after what was happening earlier. And it yes. didn't work in his yeah, favor, it wasn't working so. in his favor. Well, this is let's it. See, let's, see if he, let's see if the full adjustments been made, or Stat is going to make a, um, a transition himself. Interesting throw to throw the first cartwheel, because there's no follow up, and it's very potent if you get hit with it. Just drops the juggle. I maybe an input error. I want to say on that because, or I don't know. Yeah. In any event, lost some, lost some lost decent up. damage on that. Wow. He he connected the elbow at the exact frame that the um, wake up kick came through, which will break yeah. the wake up kick and allow you to maintain pressure. I, that he's takes. Got the wicked elbow. Yeah. That takes skill. Yeah. Right now, though, Stat doing a good job, just kind of consistently doing what, what what he does best, you know, maintaining as far forward movement as he possibly can. Oh, tries to read that. He goes in. That was brilliant. No, trying good. to go and get, like, like looking like he was going to do angle. that crush um, launcher and decides to actually just hold it, but no luck. However, though, he's got full pressure and control now. He's made the adjustment. Yeah, he yeah. has. Let's see if he can close it out. Nice reads, yeah. though, Nia Jab, just trying to... Oh. Again, that way, I, I don't think Shade wants to recognize wake up throw. That's one of those things that people can do, and it's dangerous, but. And that's gonna hurt too. Alright. Ooh! Perfect range there. Drop Suggle. Oh, kill throw punch, it doesn't matter. Um, stat hits the button, Shade hits one place, and that's it. Shade's with five moves on to. This is now Losers Finals. We have Hodge and Shinobi back on. Rematch time. Yes. And that's always an interesting effect when it is.